This apple cider donut recipe is oh so good. It's one of our family favorites. We're going to show you step by step how we do this. And at the end of the video, you can check out the description where we list all the ingredients. We start off here by adding two cups of flour and we place that into a large mixing bowl. And then we're going to follow that up with adding one teaspoon of baking soda. Then we're going to follow that up with one teaspoon of baking powder. All right, there it is right there. Let's grab our salt here and add a quarter teaspoon right into the bowl. Now it's time to add one and a half teaspoons of our cinnamon. There's our one teaspoon and there's our half. Followed up with a half a teaspoon of our ground nutmeg. So now let's take a minute here and give those dry ingredients a nice good mix with our whisk. Looks really good right there. Now we're gonna move on to our wet ingredients, starting off with four tablespoons of butter, and we're gonna go ahead and quickly melt that. All right, that was done nice and quick. We're gonna pour that now into a separate bowl and start mixing some other ingredients into here. We'll first start off by adding one cup of sugar right into that melted butter. Now we'll grab one large egg and break that right into the bowl as well. Perfect. Here we grab a half a cup of milk, and that can join the party. Perfect. All right, now we'll grab that vanilla extract. One teaspoon does the trick. Let's find that whisk here and give everything a full and thorough mixing with the whisk. And I'll give you a challenge. See if you can hit that subscribe button before Julie is done doing the mixing. We would certainly love to stay connected with you and hear your comments below. All right, that's looking pretty good right there. We're gonna move on to the apple cider. Oh yeah. Half a cup of this we'll add to a pot. And we're gonna bring that over to the stove top and bring that to a boil. And this will happen pretty quickly. See, I told you so. So after boiling for about five minutes, we're gonna bring that over here to the island and slowly mix that in to our wet mixture. And you can see Julie's using that whisk to fully mix everything together. And here is a perfect time to start preheating that oven to 350 degrees. We're now gonna add in the dry ingredients and slowly mix that into our wet ingredients. Uh, you're gonna probably wanna do this in a few different stages here as you can see Julie doing. She did start off with her rubber spatula but ended up going right back to the whisk for a more thorough mixing. And now we're going to stir that in again. And there's one more small batch to add in, which we will do right here. Don't you love how I say that we're doing this? But it's really Julie doing all the work. I'm just watching. And I keep getting more excited the closer we get to being done. These apple cider donuts are seriously, seriously tasty. And I'm staying on this shot just a little bit longer here, just so you can see how Julie fully beats this together, just to make sure it's fully mixed. Here we're gonna prepare the donut pan by spraying it with canola oil. And these pans are actually pans that she did get from Amazon directly. Uh, she got these about a year ago and really loves how these work out for making those donuts. The link for these pans are in the description below, along with all of the ingredients. You can see here, Julie has started to fill in the different sections of the pan. And you don't wanna fill these up too high especially if you like a big hole in the middle of your donut. Uh, so you can fill these up accordingly, uh, but certainly if you're filling them up to the top, you're gonna have these overflowing. So we're gonna end up making a few more than a dozen donuts here. I think we ended up getting four more out of that remaining mixture. Be sure to stick around to the end so you see how we do the topping. Uh, but first we're gonna bake these at 350 degrees for a total of 10 minutes. At the halfway point, Julie likes to give these a quick 180 degree rotation just to make sure everything is baking properly. Our oven is a little bit older, so she likes to do this as a precaution. Here we go, just another five minutes left. We've got our full 10 minutes that have been completed baking. We're gonna take those out and we're gonna find our cake tester stick. And we're just gonna stick those in there really quick just to make sure nothing is sticking to those. Yep, they are looking good. Now we're gonna set that on the counter and let those cool right within the pan for just five minutes before we do remove those. Man, those are looking good. And there's our Scotch Collie Pete 
saying hi in the background. Remember, we do have our toppings coming up still. We're going to remove these from the pan after they've been cooling for five minutes and lay these out in a nice organized way that'll make it easy to apply the toppings. Just like so, there's our dozen. But we're not quite done yet. This is the topping that we use, made with one cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon, simply mixed together thoroughly in a bowl. Then we're gonna grab some butter and melt it. Wait, ever experienced deja vu? This is about three to four tablespoons of butter that we melted here, and we're gonna use this as a paste, or kind of a glue, that were applied to the donuts, and this will help the topping stick to the donuts. You're gonna to wanna to apply this generously to both sides of the donut. And again, you do see that we're using that cooling rack, and this is really helpful just when you're flipping these over, you're not losing too much of the butter, and uh, certainly the toppings once that gets applied. Speaking of which, it's time to do that right now. We've got our bowl of the topping close by, so you're gonna be able to bring those donuts in and just give it a nice little sugar and cinnamon bath. Just like so, rotating those around. The topping will stick a little bit better to some donuts, so certainly reapply as you need to. Man, those look good. I love my wife. And if you click right here, you can see how she makes her own flaky pie crust. We'd love to see your comments below. It's time to eat the donuts. God bless. Pie. 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 Pie.